Well, it's not time for sports from the other section of the studios. We would want to invite in Asari Bidiakum, standing in uh, for sports this morning. Asari, good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. How are you doing? I'm, I'm happy for Thomas Party, especially. At least he's the only Ghanaian player playing top flight football in Europe who is hoisting high the flag of our republic. And, uh, and, um, and, and Roland, not just that, he is the first Ghanaian player this season to win a continental title. He won the Europa League title with Atletico Madrid. Also, Roland, I need to tell you this, there's going to be a big announcement on the Ghana Premier League. Uh, barring any last ditch um, change of mind, we are going to have a sponsor for the Ghana Premier League. Wow. Yes, wow. today. You have um, any clue as to who the sponsor could be? Uh, it might be Xylophone Media. It might just be Or Xylophone Media. Cash. Xylophone Media. So, right. So we'll Xylophone Media, goes. Ghana Premier League. That's you see, yeah. I mean, well, let's see how it goes. Since 2015. We have uh, never had a sponsor. Yes. So it's a massive financial relief for clubs. Well, well, just take it over. Give us the latest update in sports. All right. So it's now time to get you posted on the very latest from the world of sports here on the AM show. My name is Asai Bediaku. Thank you very much for joining me now. The big story is that Ghana's Thomas Party has won his first European title. Details a little later, but let's talk about the 2019 GFA presidential elections. And Georgia Freer is still interested in heading the local football governing body. And from all indications, the former All Black CEO will challenge incumbent Christina Antichi for the top post. And speaking to Joy Sports, former Deputy Sports Minister Joseph Yamin expects a close contest between the two heavyweights. Well, I think so. I think if Kwesi should compete with um, uh, George, then he may not be having the smooth run <coughs> which he used to enjoy uh, before because um, George has also been in the system for all this while. And uh, like people have been saying, whatever Kwesi did had the support of George. And so those that know Kwesi will definitely also know um, George. I think if the two of them, I've not heard Kwesi saying that he will contest again. The last time I heard him was that he wasn't going to contest. People are saying that he should come. Uh, others are also saying that he will announce his comeback. So if George's position stands as it is now, that he will contest. And if Kwesi decides to run again, then we may be in, we may be in for uh, a very good showdown. Yeah. Yes, I've... I've Joseph Yamin is a deputy youth and sports minister. Now to the CAF Confederations Cup, and it was not a result. The Diana Stars will save her. The Doma Bay's club could only manage a 3-3 draw with Raja Casablanca at Ajman Bedu Park on Wednesday afternoon. The Diana Stars now only have a point after two games. They are at the bottom spot of Group A. And head coach Yusif Abubakar wants his players to guard against complacency in subsequent games. We never give up because two matches, despite that we drew here, uh, anything can happen in some of the away matches that we are going to play. We will have another home match, that means in the second round we will get only one home and two away. Probably it can even happen that we also go there and give them a match. So we, we are not going to give up, only that the work will be more difficult now than what I'm expecting. Because if you are able to get all your home points, because they themselves, Raja also dropped two points at home. So that is how the competition is. So it doesn't matter whether you are playing home or away. So if you draw some points at home, then you have to strategize and make sure that you get go away and get some points to replace. Probably they might have wanted to get these three points because they were ahead of us till the last five minutes. So they came with that determination to make sure that they replace what they lost at home. So now that we also uh, pass such a thing, probably we can do something, but only it will be more difficult this time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, too much complacency can cause this. Because we came back strongly in the, uh, whenever we are down, determined to equalize and we get that. And at least, even when you check the last two, three minutes before the game ended, we had another attacking option that we should have taken time, we could have gone ahead. But over elaboration, it was miss kick and then the keeper had it. So it is something that is no good at all. In this competition, you expect a lot of experience in it. Players who are very capable of taking chances whenever you, give, you make a mistake. So that has caused us a lot.